Hello friends, welcome to this video session. The topic that we are going to cover in this session is pH scale. So students, you already know that some acids are strong while some acids are weak in strength. Similar is the case with bases. We have strong and weak bases. How do we measure the strength of acids and bases? We use the pH scale to determine the strength of acids and bases. Students, the first thing that you need to be aware about is that acidic solutions have excess of hydrogen ions. Also, you should note that even the acidic solutions contain hydroxide ions, which comes from the ionization of water, but its concentration is too less. Similarly, basic solutions have excess of hydroxide ions, but they also contain hydrogen ions, but the concentration is too less. So, both acidic solutions as well as basic solutions contain hydrogen ions. In 1909, Sorensen devised a scale on which the strength of acid solutions as well as basic solutions could be represented by making use of hydrogen ion concentration. This scale is known as pH scale, that is, potence, originally German word of power, or in simple words we can say, power of hydrogen ions. Sorensen linked the hydrogen ion concentrations of acid and base solutions to the simple numbers from 0 to 14 on his pH scale. In simple language, pH should be seen as a number that represents the acidity or basicity of which solution. The higher the concentration of hydrogen ion, the lower its pH. It is important to note that pH is only a number and has no units. You should also know that neutral substances, such substances which are neither acidic nor basic, have a pH of exact 7. For example, pure water is a neutral substance and therefore it has a pH value 7. So, the substances with pH is equal to 7, that is, the neutral substances, will have no effect on indicators like methyl orange or phenolphthalein. Now, let's talk about the pH of acidic solutions. Acidic solutions have a pH of less than 7. For example, say a solution having a pH of 4 will be acidic in nature. It is also important to note that more acidic a solution is, the lower will be its pH. For example, a solution of pH 1 is much more acidic than another acid having pH of 6. So, all the solutions have pH less than 7 are acidic in nature. And hence, they turn blue litmus red and also they turn methyl orange indicator red. Now, we will further this discussion by talking about pH value of bases. Basic solutions have a pH of more than 7. For example, a solution of pH 11 will be basic in nature. Also note that the more basic a solution is, the higher will be its pH. For example, a solution of pH 14 will be much more basic than another solution of pH 10. In simple words, a solution of pH 14 will be much stronger base than another solution of pH 10. So, the higher the pH, the stronger the base. All the substances having pH more than 7 are basic in nature and hence they turn red litmus to blue and they turn phenolphthalein indicator pink. 
So students, we can conclude that at pH 7, a solution is neutral. As the pH of a solution decreases from 7 to 0, the hydrogen ion concentration in the solution goes on increasing and hence the strength of acid goes on increasing. On the other hand, as the pH of solution increases from 7 to 14, the hydrogen ion concentration in the solution goes on decreasing. Due to which, the strength of base also goes on increasing. In this video, we studied the pH scale. In the next video, we will study about salts.